Have you ever written async Python code and then it just hangs somewhere and you're like, what's running right now? Which coroutine is blocking everything? Well, Python 3.14 is bringing something amazing to solve this headache. Async programming is awesome. You can run multiple tasks without blocking your program. But the problem is, when something goes wrong, it's a nightmare to debug because everything is running as tasks and coroutines in the background, and you just don't know which coroutine is currently running, which one is waiting, or why your entire event loop is stuck. Python 3.14 has added a new tool for this. It's called async IO introspection, and it comes with these two new commands. Let's break down what these do, but first, let's see a simple example code. Here's a small async code to understand this better. So what's happening here? We have a function called play, which just sleeps for five seconds to simulate playing a track, and then prints finished, followed by the track name. Then there's an album function, which creates tasks to play each track in that album using task group. Finally, in main, we're creating two albums, Sundowning and another album, each with two tracks. When we run this, multiple coroutines run concurrently, playing different tracks. Now imagine this program is running, and you want to see what exactly is happening inside. Here's where the new commands come in. If I run the code using this command, it'll give me a flat table output like this. Here you can see each task's ID, its name, what coroutine stack it's on, and which task is awaiting it. This is super useful to get a quick snapshot of your running async tasks. Now, if I run using this command, it'll give me a beautiful hierarchical tree output like this. This shows a complete tree view of your coroutines. The main coroutine, inside it, the albums running, inside each album, which tracks are playing, and how all tasks and coroutines are linked. But why is this such a big deal for developers like us? Because earlier, if your async program was stuck, you had no idea where. You had to add random print statements or use third-party debuggers. Now, with just one command, you can see exactly what your program is doing in real time. Plus, it's built in. No external libraries needed. So yeah, that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more Python goodness. See you in the next one.